This sound is so often drowned out by the noise of the engine, and yet it's one of the most important. Legions of engineers run tests and analyses of the circuit to ensure that the air pressure is right. Every bit of their information is important, but why? Ultimately, air pressure determines whether you perform well and achieve good lap times, and that's what drivers always want to have. You've got four contact patches um, from the car to the circuit, so to, to try and generate as much grip from those as possible. The rubber compound is key to getting good grip, as is the size of the contact patch. The lower the air pressure, the greater the contact with the track. However, that also makes the tyre heat up faster. Within limits, a fine idea, but it mustn't be overdone. Drivers are thinking that reducing, reducing the, the inflation pressure uh, will allow them to be, fast, to be faster. In the meantime, if you reduce the inflation pressure, you allow the tyre to deflect more vertically, and then you may create some, uh, some, uh, some carcass or ply fillers. The conundrum is that excessive heat and inadequate pressure make the tyre literally rub itself away. That's due to flexing. This deformation goes deep into the tyre, causing it to heat up far too much. Combined with the physical distortion, disaster looms. What happens first is that the tyre wear increases significantly. Next, due to the increased roll resistance, fuel consumption goes up. And the third thing that happens is the tyre loses its rigidity, making the vehicle's handling sluggish. Exciting pursuit races with fast, heavy cars, as in the DTM, put an enormous strain on the tyres. If your air pressure is too low, you can lose sideways stability, hence the manufacturer's guidelines. The tyre maker, they recommend, they recommend the tyre pressure, but when you, when you test in, you do, you do a race distance and you see what temperature the tyre is coming up. So then you adjust it so it's an optimum optimum pressure where it's not going too high or too low. It should also be added that the tyre pressure provides almost 70% of the tyre's rigidity. An air pressure range gets defined for tyres and vehicle type, thus enabling the tyres to work in a controlled fashion, producing grip. Extreme straight line and lateral acceleration call for tyres that can be driven with low levels of air pressure. Too low or enough, firm tyre walls help to widen the air pressure range. The gas-enriched air expands as it heats up. One reason why the tyres are preheated, because pressure levels can change. Everything's therefore checked, discussed and measured. Talked through, tested, sorted and resorted. All so that for the next stint, the teams have the right pressure in their tyres and on their rivals.